All right, so Adam, please select any card that you would like. Make sure the camera can see it, and we'll take your card and we'll place it into the center of the deck, and we'll give the deck a quick cut. All right. All right, so we're going to, we have a rubber band here. We're going to put it around the deck, like so, and we're going to wrap it around twice. Okay, and we're going to get a little bit of magic to happen here. All right, you ready for this? Take your hand. We're going to put it under the rubber band, and on the count of three, we're going to get your card to jump out. Ready? One, two, three. We get your card, the jack of hearts, to jump out. Hey, what's up, guys? It was Card Shuffler 99 here. As you just saw, we just performed the trick on our TikTok. If you guys want to go and follow our TikTok, we will link it down below in the description. If you guys aren't following our Instagram as well, please go follow that. We are trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. We're about halfway there, a little more than halfway. So please go ahead and show some support there if you guys are liking this content. Don't forget, we do have a giveaway on the channel. If you want to enter, like, subscribe, comment, and you have to be following our Instagram and you have to like our giveaway post on Instagram as well. So once again, all that info is down in the description. We will put a comment in the comment section as well with all the info for the giveaway one more time. So make sure you guys go ahead, enter that. And anyway, we're gonna just go ahead and teach you guys this entire trick from start to finish. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. All right, so credit to Miss Mag for this really cool rubber band trick. Now, uh, obviously you're gonna need a rubber band. It's gotta be large enough to wrap around the deck at least twice. So. It's gotta be decent size, it's gotta have a little stretch to it. Your normal rubber band's gonna work just fine. Just make sure it can uh, stretch so it can wrap around the deck at least twice. Now, if it doesn't, you can always take a few cards out of the deck and it will make the trick a little bit easier when you're wrapping the cards and the uh, moves you gotta do. So first things first, uh, we need our spectators to select the cards. So they can select any card. This is not a card for us. They can really select any card that they would like. And what you need to do is you need to control the card to the bottom of the deck any way possible. So if you want, you can, if you don't know any controls to take the card straight to the bottom, you can control it to the top first and then control it to the bottom. So an example could be, you can tell your spectator to touch the back of any card, right? Let's say they touch this one. You're gonna show it to them like this, but you make sure to line the card above it up with this card. So I'm gonna, they, select, they touch this one. I'm gonna line this card pretty close behind it and I'm going to show them this card. And then as I bring the cards back down, I'm gonna take these two cards, I'm gonna take both, right? Put them both down here, drop this one, and then simply bring this to the top. So this is where their card actually is, but they think this is their card. You take this and you can simply place it in the middle and it works out just like that. And now control it to the top. After you control it to the top, you control it to the bottom. You do a few things, um, but my, Go to would probably be the overhand shuffle. Peel off the top card, just the top card, and then throw some cards on top of it, just like that, and do a normal overhand shuffle. And then that would control their card to the bottom. Another way, really simple, right? You take their card, let's say they go ace of hearts, you're gonna place it in this, into the center, push down, right, on the card as you push in. So as you push in, you're gonna push down. This will create a natural break in the cards right above um, their selection, which is the Ace of Hearts. So once again, as you push in their card, you're going to push down, and I'll create a natural break from here. Just do a double undercut. So take around half the cards from the bottom, bring them to the top, and then take all the cards below the break and bring them to the top. That will simply control their card to the top of the deck. And then once again, you can do another overhand shuffle, peeling off the top card, and then peeling some cards straight on top, just like that. Now, um, another option you can do, take their card, push it in, push up on the card, and then do your double undercut. So then you go here, all right, take this, all the packets below the cards, and now control the card straight to the bottom of the deck just like that. Now, this is where it has to be um, for the trick to work. So make sure as you're putting the rubber band on through all of this process, throughout all of this uh, process you're going to be doing, make sure you don't flash the bottom card so you're not turning over the deck at any point because they're going to see their selection down here. So what you're going to do is start by wrapping the rubber band around your five fingers. And then what you're going to need to do is a pinky pull down on the bottom card. Now, if you're not comfortable with doing a pinky pull down like this, so you simply ripple, ripple down through the bottom of the cards and you're going to get a break under the bottom card like that, right? Obviously it's pretty exaggerated, but that's what you're going to need, need to do. If you can't do that, simply hold the cards with both hands before you even touch the rubber band. And then you can simply riffle down one card and then get your pinky break. So you're riffling down, 
All right, boom, get your, get your pinky break. So after you get your break above their card, you're gonna take the rubber band and wrap it around all of your fingers, just like so. And what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this exaggerated and exposed so you guys can see what's happening, is you're going to put the rubber band around all of the deck except their card. So I'm going to take the rubber band around all five of my fingers, and I'm going to put it in this gap, right? So what's happening is, I'm putting the rubber band around all the cards except their card, their selection, which will be on the bottom. So once again, pinky pull down, right? Get that break under their card. You're going to wrap the rubber band around the entire deck except their card. Now from here, obviously you guys are gonna have to reverse this because I'm a lefty. So you guys are gonna have to do the opposite moves. You're going to turn the rubber band this way. All right. So you have the rubber band here, right? This is straight. You're gonna turn it this way. And with your middle finger, you're going to grab some of the rubber band like so, and you're gonna bring it behind the deck like this. So it's a little bit harder to do it in slow motion, but you're gonna go here, twist with your middle finger, grab the rubber band like that, all right? So now I have this looped around my middle finger like so. So I'm coming around, I'm wrapping around, grabbing with my middle finger, holding it here. Then with the deck, you're gonna twist like so, twist and then wrap it around the second time this time you're going to wrap it around all of the cards so here right you're going to twist and wrap it around all or the entire deck now from here you're going to have this little loop around your middle finger right what you have to do is don't let go of that loop just yet find whichever um rubber band or the layer that's on top so if i look here this layer is on top of the other so i'm going to take my hand i'm going to slide it under that layer now, if your rubber band's tight, you can almost let go of the loop here. If you want to, you can, but make sure you're gripping the deck very tightly. So you're sticking your hand in top or in the uh, top loop, grabbing the deck firmly, and then you can take your middle finger out of that loop, but make sure you're grabbing the deck firmly. Because if you let the, uh, or if you have a loose grip on the deck, the um, card will slip out. So from here, you're basically in position. You have their card in, I guess you could say the card trap. And all you have to do from here is as long as you're maintaining pressure, right, when you release, the card will jump to the back of your hand like that. Make sure you're dropping the uh, deck on the something that's where they're not going to go all over the place on the floor. All right, that way you don't have to play 52 pickup when you're finished. So one more time, you take their card, right, control it any way, right, I'm going to do double undercut to the bottom, like so. Get your pinky break or pinky pull down on the card. I'm going to do this one more time really slowly because this knot is not an easy one to do. Slip it under the entire deck except their card, right? Like so. What you're going to do is you're going to take the rubber band, twist it, right? Twist it away from you. So I'm twisting away from my body. Grab it with your middle finger like so, right? Loop, grab it behind here. And then from here, you're going to twist towards you. So the first time you're going to twist away, after you grab it with your middle finger, right, you're going to twist towards you and then finish the wrap around around the deck. And then after that, you're going to grab the um, layer that's on top or the rubber band layer that's on top. Slip your four fingers in, not your thumb, just your four, thing, four fingers. Grip the deck tightly. So, all right, make sure you're gripping it very tight. You actually have to squeeze the deck here. Then take your middle finger out of the loop like that, make sure you're gripping the deck tightly, and then make sure you can you can move uh, the rubber band a little bit farther up your hand to make sure the effect still works. And all you have to do from here, yeah, all right. <laughs> so that is how you do the card trap rubber band trick. And um, uh, from there, you're basically finished, you show them the card and yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you check out our TikTok. There will be a link in the description. We'll also have a link to our Instagram also in the description. Make sure you check those both out. We have some pretty cool tricks there. And then anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.